It's a pleasure to be here. This is my first uh, Focus Right since pre-COVID. I'm a veteran of uh, Focus Right. I'm here. This is my 16th, I think, year at Focus Right. Today, I'm going to spend 10 minutes telling you about something a little bit different. And um, I am currently building. Uh, I am currently building two different companies. One is a drone delivery business, and the other is a travel technology business, mainly which competes with the last business which I built called Cartrawler, which was a mobility aggregator uh, for the airline space. But today it's going to be all about uh, Meili. We're building uh, an, an aircraft, a technology stack that's regulated by the aviation industry to deliver in three minutes in suburbs all around the world, coffee, hamburgers, pharmacy, groceries, you name it. And we've been delivering for the last three years in Ireland directly to consumers' backyards. Literally, you open our app, one of our aircraft will fly like this straight to your house. Dinner is here. Dinner is served. Whoa. Dinner is served. This is the arrival of Chinese meal for three people. So these aircraft fly at about 60 to 70 miles per hour. They carry about eight gallons of volume weighing about eight pounds. Uh, so therefore we can deliver pretty much every convenience store item. And the number one thing we deliver is a hot coffee. 35% of our volume is cappuccinos. And this is the experience. We hover over your house. We lower the product down onto the ground using a winch. We use LIDAR and radar to make sure there's no little people underneath the aircraft before we depart. And we do that today. Don't clap yet. You have to wait till the end. Um, we do that today uh, just 300 times a day. One aircraft does about six flights uh, per hour, so highly productive. And they, and they just fly like hell. They fly in rain. They fly 97% of Irish weather, which, if anyone knows Ireland, is literally the stupidest place in the world to build a drone delivery business. It's the, it's the world's largest wind tunnel, so only a gobshite, as they say in Ireland, would build that business. Um, but just to compare how it works, so what we're doing is we're replacing row-based delivery with a human being. So a 200-pound person in a three-ton car burning diesel or burning petrol to deliver. And when you compare it side by side, here's three drone deliveries beside three equivalent road-based deliveries. This is where we operate in Dublin. So you see the first, the three drones go together. This is Vivaldi in the background, by the way, my new favorite, new guy. Um, so the three drones depart with three orders all at the same time because they're fully autonomous robots and off they go. That's about two miles away. The furthest one's about two miles away. So the first delivery arrives just in a minute 30 seconds. Second one arrives uh, south in two minutes four seconds and the third one arrives about two minutes 20 seconds. You can see the car there, the T2 bit. That's the car still on the way to the first order. We could wait 25 minutes for this to play out when the car completes the third order. So it actually costs DoorDash, Deliveroo, Uber Eats, all of those guys, their base cost to operate a delivery is between nine and $11, fully loaded cost. So that's including the salary of the driver, the, all the other costs that go into it, including the tip, right? So the average tip. And the consumer pays a 50 to 60% premium on basket value. So if you're living in the United States, you order a McDonald's for $30, let's say, you're paying about $45 by the time all the surcharges are added up. The premium that the consumer pays is 50 or 60%. The restaurant is a single digit, if not negative margin business. Restaurants are terrible businesses. The aggregator platforms, the door dashes and so on in this world are single digit margin businesses because their costs are so high because they use humans in the road to deliver. And as you can see, if, you had, if anyone ever ordered a McDonald's for delivery, and it arrives half an hour after it came out of the frying pan. It has already broken down into its constituent elements of mercury, arsenic, wood chips, plastic, whatever it's made out of, right? It's not a deliverable product. Yet DoorDash do two billion deliveries a year. Consumers really, really want delivery. They really want to get stuff delivered at home, be it groceries, pharmacies, coffee, you name it. And it's impossible to do it in an economically viable way. It just doesn't work. Yet, it's a $250 billion industry today, and it's growing to $350 billion in the next six or seven years. So it's a gigantic industry where tens of billions of dollars of capital have gone in with shitty unit economics. And the solution to shitty unit economics is automation. And in our case, robots that can fly at 60, 70 miles an hour. Don't ask for a tip. The robot doesn't get COVID. 
the robot doesn't invade your privacy. We're quieter than a car. We produce no CO2 when we fly. We're completely secure and we're exciting, right? When you get your first drone delivery, it is absolutely insane. And what happens when we roll out of town, I send a tweet saying where our next town is. In fact, uh, a few weeks ago, there was a leak in one of the newspapers in Ireland about where our next town is. It's a town of 120,000 people called Blanchardstown, which is on the west coast of Dublin, or the west side of Dublin. And there was a leak in one of the newspapers. We had 10,000 app installs within three days for Blanchardstown, for that town. The circus is coming to town, right? Everyone wants the circus when it comes to town. And drone delivery is the circus. However, the behavior that we already see around drone delivery is phenomenal. Phenomenal adoption rates, phenomenal repeat rates, phenomenal conversion rates. 38% of the, the current uh, population of 46,000 people that we serve use the product more than two times a month. That is far in excess of what row-based delivery achieves. So the initial adoption curve is almost instantaneous. It's viral. Every flight that we fly is a billboard flying through the sky. We're flying 300 advertisements every single day uh, over your heads, over populated areas, densely populated areas, I should say. Uh, that map that you saw, the population density there is 10,000 people per square mile, which is greater population density than Barcelona, where you are now. So we can roll this product out literally to everywhere except Manhattan, downtown San Francisco, the center of Paris, and so on. So we have a European-wide license already, which gives us access to about 500 million people in Europe. And the next video I want you to see, and I'll, I'll, kinda, I'll, I'll end with this video, uh, is to show you how real it is and how popular it is. So, as I said, you're going to see about 300 deliveries a day in Dublin, about 10 minutes from Dublin Airport, and you will see the impact of this on a community. Everyone uses it, and they use it very, very frequently. So you're going to see 500 deliveries. The red lines are the equivalent road-based journeys if the product was delivered by car. And then, of course, you see the carbon, the delta carbon footprint between the two things, and you're going to see this too. Great piece of music. White dots are drones doing deliveries, and they're real deliveries, commercial deliveries that consumers pay for. So that's one weekend in a town in Dublin. Drone delivery is real. It's coming everywhere in Europe from 20, 2024 onwards. Uh, we have raised $50 million from venture capitalists to build this business to date. We're four years old. Over 2024, we'll deliver to 25 new locations across Europe, and from 25 onwards, the rest of Europe. We'll open our first operation in Texas this year in October. We launch in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And actually, we will be in Spain this year as well. So we're at the start of our scaling journey. We probably need to raise about $200 million more to accomplish the rest of it. It is a capital-intensive business, and it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much.